This is Samsung Galaxy M33 and in this video we would like to share the top 5 pro tips and features for this device. So the first option for today uh, is, well, the fingerprint ID. And now let me show how you can set it up and start, well, using it to unlock the display. So to begin with, you have to launch settings, then over here, go for the uh, lock screen, then fingerprint or screen lock type, fingerprints, continue. Oh, prior to enrolling the fingerprint itself, we have to also uh, set some backup screen lock method as well. So I'll go with pattern. Once set, you can proceed with adding a fingerprint. The scanner is located at the uh, side power key. So start laying your finger onto the sensor and do that until the entire surface of it will be correctly scanned. Already, I have successfully added my fingerprint, so now I can start using it for the screen unlock. Let me quickly test out how well this feature works. As you can see, the display gets unlocked without any issues whatsoever, quickly and conveniently. The next option for today, you'll be able to find at the display category. So uh, let me quickly enter it. In here, it is called the motion smoothness and it allows you to change the screen refresh rate between 60 and 120 Hertz. So long story short, uh, one, uh, well, higher value will get you smoother and silkier animations while uh, 60 Hertz uh, will save you some power and battery. So choose uh, whatever option fits your needs, needs at the current moment. But uh, once it's adaptive, it will uh, actually automatically uh, increase the motion smoothness up to 120 Hertz in certain scenarios. So it's the best mode to have. It's the most balanced one, I should say. Uh, the next feature is uh, the one that you'll be able to find at the, uh, well, if I'm not mistaken, notifications category. Yep, then go for the advanced settings. By the way, as you can see right now, um, the battery percentage is not being displayed at the status bar, only if I'll open the notification panel. So if you would like to have it right next to the battery icon at the status bar at all times, just uh, follow my steps in here and turn on the show battery percentage switch. Just like so, we have successfully enabled the, uh, or revealed, should I even say, the battery percentage. So moving on to the next step, that is how you can change the uh, navigation type that you have. So go for the general management. Already, it's not general management, probably it's going to be a display, so my bad. Display, navigation bar, yep. So enter the display category, then navigation bar. And in here, as you can see up until now, or up until this point uh, in the video, I've been navigating via or through my system using these swipe gestures, but you can also always set the navigation type to digital buttons, which will appear at the bottom part of your screen, and now can be used to further navigate through the interface. I am more of a gestures person myself, so I'll get it back to swipe gestures. And fifth and final option uh, will be, I mean, you can access it by opening the battery and device care category, then memory, then RAM Plus. So as you can see, it allows you to increase the random access memory that you have by either two, four or six gigabytes. Right now it is set at four. So now I have to turn the switch on and in order for the changes to take effect, reboot the device respectively. After that, uh, those values will be available to you. You will be able to change it to either increase or decrease. And then you will also have to reboot the device once again. It's the worst design of this function I've ever seen in my life, but still, <laughs> it's not like we can do anything about it. So, um, basically now I'll just wait for the device to get, to get restarted and see whether the memory or the RAM has been actually increased or not. Alrighty, so now let me quickly check the 
Rim Plus, Option, Page. So I'll open Settings, then go for the Battery and Device Care, then Memory and Rem Plus. As you can see, or as you will be able to see now, uh, it is actually active and adds additional four gigabytes to our to the six default hardware gigabytes of RAM we have already. So that will be it. Thanks for watching and bye bye.